What up, Rafaelinos? Welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk business, right? Just put on tie so that you could see the business side of me. And today, I'm going to talk about the value of the Guyana dollar and the status of the economy, that is in terms of the sovereign wealth fund. Now, it's a year ago today since I made the last uh, video about the sovereign wealth fund, Guyana's sovereign wealth fund and Guyana's oil and gas industry and the value of the Guyana dollar. What I want to do today is to give you an update on the status of these topics. Now I stopped talking about these things for a while because I did a lot of coding, I did a lot of um, write programming in several programming languages and I didn't think that my um, subscribers were interested in you know coding in PHP and CSS and JavaScript and all that stuff. So that's the reason why I haven't covered these topics because I've been busy on doing the background work, the back-end coding to a lot of the companies that I'm working on. But if you guys are interested in this kind of information, you know, how to build a company from the inside, all the nitty-gritty details, how to code, for example, customer relations management and payment processing and all these details, let me know uh, in the comments below and I will make a video explaining how you build the nitty-gritty, the details of a company, right? How you do it yourself or how you can find other uh, companies that support you in that endeavor. However, today I want to get back to talking about business. As you know, this channel is a channel for politics, economics, food and fun. And I haven't talked about food and fun recently, but I have been talking about economics and this is an aspect of economics that I think we need um, to get back to because people have been asking for it in the comments. People have been asking me, well, what is the follow-up on the value of the Guyana dollar? Now let's talk about the value of the Guyana dollar first. Or no, let's start talking about the status of the sovereign wealth fund first because that in fact is tied into the value of the Guyana dollar. Now if you check the last Bank of Guyana report on the natural resource fund, you'll find that the fund now contains 791.8 million US dollars. A year ago today, that is in 2021, it contained 267 million US dollars. And I predicted at that time in my last video that Guyana's sovereign wealth fund will hit a billion dollars by the first quarter of 2023. That is by next year, this time, Guyana will have a billion dollars in the sovereign wealth fund. Now that is uh, presuming that the government does not start raiding the fund. I've always explained that the fund needs to be a, an investment fund. You can borrow against it, but you should not remove the principal. And that's the best way it will work for, for us. And this is why I'm gonna share, share with you um, right now what the status of the Sovereign Wealth Fund is. Before explaining that the Guyana government has also approved, that is the new government, has approved a new arrangement for how the funds are to be spent. The government now can create the board that manages the fund and they're gonna extract a certain percentage of the fund to run the country, which uh, done prematurely will in fact upset the, the mathematics of the analysis that I'm giving you today. So the fund now contains 791 million US dollars, almost 800 million US dollars. And that is from Guyana's profit share, right? If you wanna understand how the profit sharing agreement works, I made some previous videos on how Guyana's profit sharing contract works. You go over there, check those out, and you'll catch up on what this means. So Guyana now has almost $800 million and on the way to getting to a billion dollars by the first quarter of 2023. And what that means is that it creates a base of petrodollars for the economy, right? In other words, it, it means that the economy is now generating gross domestic product in terms of oil at about twice the rate as it was before, right? I also did a previous video explaining how Guyana's gross domestic product will increase because of the oil and gas industry and how in fact Guyana will surpass Trinidad in terms of GDP by the middle of this decade, by 2025, for example, I think I said, Guyana will surpass Trinidad. But right now, the GDP is approaching 20 billion US dollars, which is what Trinidad's GDP was a couple of years ago, right? So in a, in a couple of, two or three years, Guyana will surpass 
Trinidad in terms of GDP. That is the magnitude of the oil and gas industry. And the reason why it's gotten up to be that much very quickly is because recently, that is a, a month or two ago, they started production from the second uh, FPSO, floating uh, platform and offloading vessel. That brought daily production up to 340,000 US, 340,000 uh, barrels of oil per day. Right? And with the price of oil now approaching $107, $108 per barrel, that means each lift that Guyana sells gets over $100 million US dollars. And that means the rate of uh, growth of the sovereign wealth fund is increasing at a much more rapid rate than I predicted when the price of oil was around 60 or under $60. So with the price of oil over $100 a barrel, right, up from 60 under $60 a barrel uh, when the pandemic, in fact, it, it crashed almost zero, right, when the pandemic started. Remember that oil had fallen to about $14 a barrel at the beginning of the pandemic. I couldn't talk about all this stuff because uh, YouTube was demonetizing any videos that mentioned the pandemic. However, the point is that because the price of oil is over $100 a barrel, Guyana's GDP is now eight times what Guyana earns in terms of the profit sharing contract because we are getting one eighth of the production. So if we're getting $100 million um, in each lift, there are now $800 million for each cycle. And the way it works is that we're now producing about 16 cycles per year. I'm going to give you the exact math in another video. Right, but the point is that we are now double, I mean, almost triple uh, the production of oil um, when we started. Right in 2020, when we started, we were producing 120,000 barrels per day, and now we're producing 340,000 barrels per day, almost triple the production rate. And the price of oil is almost double, or more than double, the average of what it was before the pandemic. And when you put those two factors together, the GDP went from about six, um, about al almost six uh, billion US dollars in say 2020 to now about three times that 18, almost 20 billion dollars um, in 2022. That's what we're looking at in 2022, 2023. We're, we're going to be at about 20 billion dollars. Now, why am I saying all of this before I talk about the value of the Ghana dollar? is because I'll show you, now show you another plot. Right? In this plot, I show you the exchange rate between the US dollar and the Ghana dollar over the last year, over the last 12 months. And if you see, six months ago, the fluctuation in the value of the dollar stops. Right, so the dollar was actually fluctuating between say 107, um, 207 and 214, 216 um, Guyana dollars to one US dollar. Right, the, the, it was fluctuating rapidly and randomly between say 210 and 215, something like that, over the last or indefinitely in, in the past but up until six months ago that was the case and then suddenly if you notice it is now flat and steady and uh, that is the effect of the sovereign wealth fund the sovereign wealth fund providing a floor in terms of liquidity in terms of access to capital in terms of Guyana's uh, foreign exchange capital so the sovereign wealth fund now holds all of Guyana's petrol dollars and that money now acts as a, a stabilizing effect on the, on the economy and on the value of the Ghana dollar. So when I say the value of the Ghana dollar will rise after the production of oil begins, this is the first time we can see a measurable effect of that prediction, right? From around November 2021, suddenly the value of the Ghana dollar is kind of pegged to the US dollar at about 214 
to one US dollar. And I know that because I've been checking, you know, I get um, foreign exchange transactions from my bank and the exchange rate has been stable over the last six months. So what does that mean? It means that as the sovereign wealth fund grows, right, if it is allowed to grow to a billion and then two billion and three billion and so on, uh, US dollars, which it can do very rapidly if the price of oil stays high and if production keeps um, increasing because more and more oil has been discovered by ExxonMobil, right? We're now up to almost 20 um, oil discoveries. The um, reserves of oil has now reached over 10 billion barrels of oil in the ground and the price of oil stays high. If that stays high, then, and production goes, say, for example, to 500,000 barrels per day and then a million barrels per day by the end of the century, you can see there can be an exponential growth in the size of the, the magnitude of money in the sovereign wealth fund. And that will create not only the stabilizing effect that we're seeing now, right, in that graph, it will create the effect where the Guyana dollar can now rise in value. The only... Um, danger, the only detriment to this, the only thing that can prevent this from happening is if the government mismanages that fund, if they start robbing that fund, if they start um, politicizing it, putting people in there who are not technocrats, who don't understand investment, and if they start just extracting money from that fund to fund their politically motivated projects. Right now they're sharing out money to their supporters, right? That is the sort of thing you can destroy the fund and destroy the mathematics that creates um, the prediction that is behind the prediction that I'm making. So guys, I'm saying to you that the value of Garandal will rise and it has already begun to stabilize because of the sovereign wealth fund, because of the impact of the sovereign wealth fund and because of the rapid growth in the gross domestic product, the GDP. And I'm also predicting that once it reaches a certain level, once that uh, sovereign wealth fund, natural resource fund, reaches a billion dollars. I'm going to revisit that this um, uh, topic, right? So by the end of the first quarter, second quarter, 2023, we're going to revisit this question of the value of the Ghana dollar. We're going to come back to it again and again. In fact, examining the premise for my argument, right? But right now, we're beginning to see the first effects of the rise in the value of the Ghana dollar. If you check, take a look at, you just Google, because this, this information is all out there on Google, right? You want to go check the... Um, the state of the um, sovereign wealth fund. You go to the Bank of Guyana page. You can Google Bank of Guyana Natural Resource Fund and it'll pull up the PDF files for all of the uh, previous quarters of data. So all this information is out there. You want to Google the exchange rate, the Guyana US dollar exchange rate. It's all out there. You can Google it, right? So I'm not hiding. This is not information that is um, proprietary. You can go out there and I'm just giving you an analysis of what it means and telling you what you can expect in future because of the way the economy works. So that's what's happening, guys. The value of the Guyana dollar has stabilized. Right now, it seems to be at 214 uh, to 1 based on the bank uh, exchange rate, that is the Guyana bank exchange rates. And you can see slight um, intervals or periods. If you look at that graph where it pops up above, it just randomly pops up above. That means that it's testing increasing value, right? It's testing an increasing value. In other words, a few times it's traded at 213 or 211 or 210, and then eventually it's gonna to go to 200 and 190, and eventually maybe perhaps all the way back to something close to an e equivalent uh, value. But that is the nature of the, um, the, the economy, the nature of the effect of the sovereign wealth fund on stabilizing the exchange rate. This is something that if the economy is managed properly, if it's not politicized and the government doesn't start raiding the um, sovereign wealth fund, the value of the Ghana dollar will increase, will strengthen. So guys, that's my view. In the comments below, tell me what you think about these graphs and the um, reports from the Bank of Ghana, what your inter interpretation is, and let me know whether you agree or disagree with my analysis. Now, share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later.